What's up bosses, I'm JoeMan543 and welcome to this video of me camping. Now before we get into camping, we need to know what kind of rig I got. As you can see, I have a Chevy pickup truck, that's a K2500, and it has a Cheyenne package, so that's 3,000 pounds in the bed. Extra upgrades. The camper itself is a 1969 something. Um, I did get it for free, and pretty much all I've done to it is cleaned it out and uh, resealed the roof so it doesn't leak. So, pretty good deal, I think. As you can see in the camper, we have all the amenities. There's a bed, there's a place to sit, that also converts into a bed. There's a table, there's storage all over the place. An ice box, which is like a cooler, you put ice in it, keeps things cold. We also have our sink, which kind of functions like a well. You gotta pump it to get water. Um, but, you know, that way you don't have to rely on electricity, so that's cool. And then there's the stove. You know, you can cook stuff on that, and it has an oven. Pretty cool. And then, nice little garbage can placement there. We come to the back here. We have little, little storage down here. This is where I like to put all my stuff I might need while I'm outside, because I can just reach in and grab it. I don't have to actually hop in the camper. That's very convenient. So we've got tarp, got tape, hydraulic stuff. Um, you know, all the good stuff. And then, finally, one thing I love about this camper, a bathroom. It's a very small bathroom, and there's no shower, but yes, you can do your business in here. Open the window, and it's tall enough, and yeah. So yeah, bathroom. Um, extra stuff here, but don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> well, that's about all I have to show you at this stage. Later, I will get camping, and if I have anything else to show you, I will. So as we got going, things were going pretty well. This was kind of a test camp with this camper. I had not camped in it properly yet, and I hadn't really driven very far with it. So we decided to go up to Idaho and back. If they can go about two hours of driving, well, they should be able to handle everything just fine. And then tragedy struck. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound good. So, started making a real weird sound. Sounded like a wooden spoon banging on a pot. I think, then I discovered that the transmission was trying to pull away from the engine. Uh, so I stung out those bolts, I put back together, and hopefully this works. Oh, uh, why can't I ever go camping without problems? So, sitting here in a Walmart parking lot, um, the truck decided it wanted to lose its transmission, so it started making funny sounds. The transmission was splitting apart from the engine, so I tightened those bolts back up, and so then uh, it's not making that sound anymore, and I can drive around just fine. And so then we uh, got some, some little popcorn chicken from Walmart, and uh, conveniently we have a camper with sitting space to eat it at. Yeah! Most of the trip up was in the dark due to the significant delay, but we did get up there about midnight, and this was up at my wife's grandma's farm. We decided to go up and help out there, but you know, it's a field, so it's camping as well. We were pretty ready to go to bed, so there wasn't really much to do in the evening. So in the morning we got up, we made some eggs and toast and oatmeal, very hearty, energy-dense breakfast, and then we got to work helping out Megan's grandma. She's 96, by the way. So I had the privilege of mowing the grass. And then, even more fun, we had a lot of yard trimmings that needed to go away. Now, she's located pretty out there, so it's not like she has a garbage truck that comes by every week and picks up, you know, big garbage can worth of stuff. No, we needed to get rid of all the yard debris another way, so I was tasked with burning it all up. I had done this before, so I was pretty trusted with that. As you can see, definitely on my first match, I got it all lit up and blazing and all burning. Ta-da! It's really going. I'm making sure I'm watering the area around it so it doesn't spread anything. 
Um, there's nothing real flammable nearby, so no problem. But uh, this is really hot. I'm like 15 feet away now, and I can barely stand the heat. I just had to move a little further away because it's still hot. Um, but yeah, burning all the yard debris. Smoky. <laughs> Eventually I had the idea to go get some marshmallows and make some s'mores, but it was just so dang hot I couldn't even get close enough to roast it. Ow, 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 ow. It's hot. I had to get a real long stick to roast a marshmallow. Ta-da. So after our day's activities of mowing and burning and marshmallowing, it was coming time to head home. And we are coming to the end of the camping trip. Yeah, I didn't really uh, get to do much last night because we arrived a bit late because my transmission tried to leave me. But hey, we still arrived. We spent a night, did some stuff today, helped clean up farm stuff, all that. And uh, it's time to get ready and go home. A couple hour drive, so yeah. But before then, I wanted to take a look at some of the farm buildings. Some of the buildings on this old farm are a bit dilapidated. I mean, take a look at that one in the middle. It's kind of leaning in a way it shouldn't lean. But I thought I'd take a look at some of the buildings that, you know, uh, aren't probably a health hazard to go into. This is a greenery. Put the grain in up top there. Kind of hard to see, I know. Little door up there. And uh, this. It's actually a very solid construction. It's two by fours, but they're horizontal. So, you know, this has basically three or four inch thick walls, which is, uh, you know, pretty thick. Uh, we got a little nail there. Well, guess what? My camera whoop, can still fit through. That's pretty cool. And then this is one that the grandchildren affectionately call the schoolhouse. Um, it's like an old time desk kind of thing here. I don't, I'm not sure I quite understand it. Like, I feel like that's supposed to rotate, but anyway, yeah, got like an old desk thing here. Really not that big in here. I don't know, probably like, I don't know, 14 by 10. Basically it's about the size of a normal bedroom, but, uh, I don't know, cool old building. Hmm. And we just have other stuff out here, old tractor, bunch of space. See like a Quonset storage thing over there. Got another tractor type of thing. Some old vehicles, just, you know, farm stuff, right? So I set everything up, including my rear facing camera on the camper. Great idea, I recommend it for everybody, because mirrors are just annoying. And then we set off. No problems on the way home, transmission cooperated, and uh, maintained about 55 to 60 miles per hour the whole way three-speed transmission on the truck, and really not aerodynamic camper. And I'm home. This, uh, well, one night camping trip still felt like a long camping trip, probably because it was like two and a half hours each way. <laughs> but I did it on one tank of gas with the truck. Um, it used almost the whole tank, but, you know, I still got about a quarter left, so. Um, very good. I think I'm gonna stick to closer destinations for this, but, Tess is complete. Camper is ready for camping this summer. And with that, I guess I'll wrap this up. Thanks everyone for watching. I'd ask you to like, comment, and subscribe if you did like the video and you want to see more of this kind of video or more of me. Anyway, see y'all later. Peace.